Hi, this is William Ramsey. The following video is about the disappearance of Dakota James on January 25th, 2017 in downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Dakota James is 23 years old and is a graduate student at Duquesne University. On the night of his disappearance, he was at the 941 Saloon on Liberty Avenue in downtown Pittsburgh. Told he had too many drinks, he was asked to leave the bar. The last picture of Dakota James was seen on CCTV down the street from the 941 Saloon. He seems to be walking fine and able to text on his phone. You can see here from this map that the 941 Saloon is in the downtown Pittsburgh area. On the Gay Pittsburgh website, the 941 Saloon is described as a mixed, welcoming crowd with a variety of themed events. The party ends at 2 a.m. but can continue upstairs at their After Hours Club. This is what the 941 Saloon looks like during the daytime in downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here's a following report about the disappearance of Dakota James on February 3rd, 2017. Dakota James' family is from Frederick, Maryland, about three hours away. Over a dozen of them, with more on the way, have come here to Pittsburgh to aid in the search for the one they call Cody to try and bring him home. Love extremely difficult. and desperation. We're just trying to get the word out. We're measured in steps. It's pretty hard. And strips of tape. We just got to keep moving. Shane James is Dakota's older brother. He came to Pittsburgh over the weekend to help with the search. Today, one team of at least four walking around, asking anyone if they know anything. It's slow going and we haven't really, you know, we haven't heard anything. Pittsburgh police say Dakota James was last seen around downtown about 1130 Wednesday night. His family was told the 23 year old Duquesne graduate student's phone also pinged along Grant Street around then. James's aunt. Angela Meadows. So we're walking across rivers. We're walking through every neighborhood. So any call-ins, any leads, please share. Also part of the search. I just want him back. Dakota's father, Jeff, who says this entire family is struggling. He says his son always stayed out of trouble and wouldn't be the type to just go silent. I don't even know how to put that in words, how it's just not, you know, there's something's happened. This family is intent on helping police figure out just what that something was. For now, they keep walking, taping, and hoping. Thank you so much. If we don't keep moving, you know, what else are we going to do? The next clip is from February 7th. Note they're taking a look in the river. Tonight, a new lead in the case of a missing grad student who vanished two weeks ago. Will it help 23-year-old Dakota James? Good evening. Police have just released a new surveillance photo of Dakota. It was taken the night he disappeared. It is giving us a new look at where he may have been going. Kim Gable is live at police headquarters with new developments in this case. Kim. And Susan, the missing persons division here at headquarters released this new surveillance photo just a couple of hours ago. We're going to give you a closer look at this in just a moment. This is just another piece to a mysterious puzzle that has consumed a family who just wants to bring their son home. Pittsburgh police just released this new surveillance photo. It shows Dakota James walking through Katz Plaza in the Cultural District at 1146 p.m. on January 25th. Prior to this, the last known sighting was reportedly at the Wood Street Tea Station. We also now know the coat he was wearing was dark gray or black, not olive green. Hundreds of volunteers, first responders, and businesses continue to help Dakota's family in their desperate search. We love you guys. You helped us out so much. We just need to finish it. I feel like we've, we've come a long way in the last week and a half, and we just need to finish it. We just need to bring Cody home. Earlier Tuesday, search dogs picked up a scent in the river near the Roberto Clemente Bridge. Dive teams spent hours in the water but found nothing. In this situation, we understand the grief that the family must be going through, and they're still doing their best to try to bring uh, this situation to a closure for the family. Police say there may be more video or photos out there. They are urging the business community and the public to contact them with any additional leads. 
Now, detectives here have researched and searched through hours and hours of surveillance video from at least 16 different locations throughout the city. We also know that River Rescue has actually been on the water daily conducting their own searches. Police recently determined the route that he was seen walking down Liberty Avenue. You can see it on the top of this map straight down the avenue, but he was also seen in Katz Plaza, which is north of Liberty Avenue. So he seems to have been kind of walking in a random way. Like many other families of missing young men, the family of Dakota James created a GoFundMe page to hire a private investigator, offer a reward, and for other expenses related to the search for their son. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and share the video if you like. Thank you.